<laughs> Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I just wanted to pop on really quick. I know it's the end of a long holiday weekend, and there's a lot of things that people are doing to get ready and prepped for tomorrow, but there's a couple of things I wanted to mention. One, if you have not taken advantage of the Plateau Breaker that I have, I will post the link after the video. Please, please, please get on board for that if you're looking for a way to kind of reset get things figured out. There's so much good information that you can use now and in the future for those other holiday parties that you're having coming up for all the other things that you have scheduled. Um, it always seems to kind of run together. I don't know about for you, but for me, it's like, oh, well, shoot. Okay. Now that that's over. Oh, shoot. Next weekend I have this. And then there's, oh my gosh, this and this and this. Oh, and all these things kind of pile together. And then you're like, where am I going to get on track? These are great tips that you can incorporate sort of during the week sort of reset yourself. That's kind of what it feels like almost between now, um, you know, between Thanksgiving and then all the way after the new year almost is that during the week you're kind of busting your butt to catch up and reset for everything that you did on the weekend. <laughs> everything goes backwards. So there's, I mean, getting out and getting movement, getting exercise in. I took a great class um, from an old friend of mine, Leslie, um, at the Lifetime Fitness in Crosstown amazing. So much fun. Um, great workout. Holy hamstrings are sore, by the way. Thanks for that. <laughs> but um, besides exercise, besides getting movement in there, that really helps to increase your metabolism, doing new movements, new exercises, new routines. Get a group of friends together and go to a class. It's amazing the results that you can get from switching things up. But then nutritionally, also making sure that you're keeping on track because you can't, you know, out exercise a bad diet no matter what you do. So it's really, really important to do these little things, you know, get this plateau breaker. There's things about cleansing, carb cycling, all these great tips in there that you can incorporate on even just during the week to sort of take advantage of it, get it, get ahead of the game. And then if you do happen to slip, not that you should plan it, but if it does happen, you always have a way to reset come Monday, which is tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> so I'll post that link. So go grab it and take advantage of it. Um, the other thing that comes along with all this information, which I don't think that I've mentioned a lot of, is you get a lot of support, you get a lot of great insight, and you're going to get um, some keys to really take with you sort of for the rest of your life. As you go through different phases of your life, it's important that you sort of reset yourself nutritionally and everything that you do. So think about when you were like a single college student, how you ate, how you think, how you thought about food, how you thought about going to the grocery store. I mean, I would literally search through my couch cushions sometimes just to grab some, you know, change to go get some pizza. That's all, you know, pizza and beer. That was kind of what it was, right? Um, then going into after college, trying to be a grown up sometimes, you know, and then after having kids, feeding kids, feeding yourself, sort of making two meals because kids, you know, and they're little, you have to cut up everything super, super tiny. It's just totally different, right? And then as your kids age or get older, if your kids move out or if you go through different transitions in your life, you always have to reset yourself. So it's great to have these tools and tips available so that you can make that transition really, really easily and quickly. And you don't get stuck in this rut because your external world may have changed. The people that you live with may have changed. They grew up. They don't eat meals with you anymore. Your schedules are different. Seasons change. All these things happen all the time to people. And it's really great to have a way to reset, get back on track, and sort of just nicely fall into a good groove again. That way you can continue on with your healthy journey, your healthy path, and not worry so much about the fact that, oh, I don't have my same exact routine all the time anymore, blah, blah, blah. You know, no, one's, no one gets that all the time. <laughs> if you do, uh, you probably need a little more variety in your life. Um, but there's, uh, there's another piece to it, too. That with that change, with everything switching over, it's also really important that you're kind of updating your mindset on everything. The reason is, is because if you're switching what you're doing, you're going to have to switch how you think about it. For everybody that's been doing their own cooking and preparing food as a single person for a really long time, then all of a sudden you're having to cook for multiple people. It's a big thing and it's a lot to handle and it's mentally exhausting. And when I say mentally exhausting, the thought process going into it and performing new tasks and switching over and creating these new habits mentally and then physically will drain you, which is why so many people fall off when they're going through a new nutrition plan. There's this whole 
it's, it's really fascinating. I won't get into it now because I could talk for days on it. But literally, neurologically, so many things have to happen to change these habits and patterns. And it just sucks energy out of you to try and do that. And then you're like, oh, this is so hard. Why is it so hard? It's so hard because you do have to put so much energy into it. And you're like, I'm trying to get more energy. I'm already tired. I'm supposed to be eating to get more energy. Blah. Yes. <laughs> That's where switching things up, having a new plan, all that's going to really, really help. Um, and <laughs> help keep you on track. Yay. Um, but so these tips are great. They're not overwhelming. Everything's laid out for you. It's easy to follow. And a lot of this is put together because I was in a lot of these same spots. I've been stuck before. I've been frustrated. I have tried. I, I don't even want to tell you how many different nutrition plans. I was an athlete in high school and in college. I went through and talked to different, we had, um, you know, coaches that would hire nutritionists and dietitians, and that would work with us. Uh, we had our body fat measured, all these other good, like crazy things. And going from that, and to be honest, some of the, you know, information that they gave us is crap. I mean, it just was not good information, especially for, you know, female athletes. It was not the right thing. Going from that to, you know, going into grad school spending massive amounts of time studying and then starting to have babies and, you know, running a business, all these things, your time and energy and focus and what you're doing is really, really tough. So these are things that I struggled with for years and tried to figure out and dove into so much research on, which is why I created these plans, which is why I found these, these techniques that work for women, especially, especially for busy women. And they're easy, broken down into ways you can incorporate them. So I don't want to throw too much at you because, again, it's sort of the end of a long weekend for people. They're trying to button things up and um, get prepped for tomorrow. Yay, Monday. Best day, best day of the week. <laughs> but if you guys do have questions on anything, please don't hesitate. Um, if you're wondering about if this is going to work for you, if you're thinking about, yeah, I've really been thinking about starting something, but I'm not sure. I have tried everything and I failed on everything. You know, I'm not, how do I know this is going to work for me? These are just some simple, easy things. If you've tried some similar things and they haven't worked for you, you're probably not doing the right thing for you. So that means that your body, your history, your health history, things that you've gone through, struggled with, are probably different than somebody else. So if you're following the same path and plan, you're not going to get the same result. So it's important to ask these questions. Okay, my friend did this, that, and the other, and they got this great result. Now I'm trying to do something very similar or the same thing, and it's not happening at all for me. Yes, because you've been down this different path. You've had different amounts of stress in your life. You've had, you know, kids or different hormonal changes or all these other things. That's why these other techniques are going to work for you. There's so many different tricks and techniques that we can use to help manipulate and you to be in control of your body versus you just, you know, feeling like you have no control and you don't know what to do about it. That's where a lot of these techniques come in. So if you've tried some of them, great. If you have, are curious about them, then just get on the list to get the information sent to you. That's going to be life-changing. Um, otherwise, if you have questions, don't hesitate to message me. You know, comment on the link, you know, comment below the video. It's totally great. And then also share this video with other people because they're going to be able to get a lot of great information too. Um, and then if you are wondering, also, I do have a six-week group that we're starting we are starting in January, but I do have some early enrollment for it because it will it will fill up. Um, some of the results of the women that have started it so far are just incredible. They've been busting their butt, you know, for years trying to get results. And within, I'm not kidding, five days of implementing some of these changes, they're already starting to see a massive shift in the scale changing and in inches coming off, energy levels. They're able to work out harder. Like, is this normal? I'm able to work out harder. Uh, it feels weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. You know, that's how that happens when you're eating correctly for what's going on in your body. So those are things that I take you through in the six week challenge, um, which if you are interested in, let me know, message me and I will get you on the early list um, where you can get a special deal for it. Otherwise, everybody have a great night and I will see you tomorrow.